The Irishman, directed by Martin Scorsese, is a new Netflix film uh, that released uh, the end of November. I've just checked it out now. Um, and it is three and a half hours long, which, you know, for some people it's going to be quite difficult to get through. So I can I can see why it was put on Netflix uh, rather than showing wide release in theatres and stuff. Uh, it is a shame it's not on there, but again, it's great because then it's it's easily accessible to a lot of other people, and Scorsese can get his vision out quicker. And I really appreciate that. This tells the story of Jimmy Hoffa and uh, Robert De Niro, who plays himself, the Irish man. And uh, let's get into this movie because I was really anticipating it. And let's talk about that length, the three and a half hour length. Uh, it flies by. I I didn't even feel the pace of this movie because I was so invested. Because this story was fascinating, the performances were excellent, and oh my god, the the characters were really well done, the direction is excellent, and I was so invested in this movie that the 3 hour and 30 minute runtime never even crossed my mind while watching it. And it sort of felt, it didn't feel long, it felt so investing, it was really great, I haven't seen a movie like this for a very, very, very long time. I keep saying that a lot in 2019, where I haven't seen this kind of movie in a long time, and that's really me making me happy. 2019 has come up with some amazing films, Netflix has come up with some amazing films uh, this year, and The Irishman is one of those, and I absolutely love this movie. Uh, I have a few issues with it, which I'll get into at the end, but let's start off with the amazing things, which is the majority of this film, and that is the performances. Robert De Niro as The Irishman himself. He's phenomenal in the film. The de-aging effect, it's noticeable when you first see it, but it's not bad noticeable. But honestly, it's seamless. Like, it, it, is, it is amazing what they do here, and it looks really good. I'm assuming in later years that will look a bit dated, but still, it was it was really well done, and it's amazing how far technology has come this day, and this is definitely the best use of the of that de-aging technology. Al Pacino as well. Let's charge a guy with a gun. With a knife, you run away. So you charge with a gun, with a knife, you run. As Jimmy Hoffa is amazing. Now, I don't know much of the story of that, so this is pretty much all new to me. But Al Pacino was amazing in this movie. And his relationship with Robert De Niro is really, really amazing. And Robert De Niro's relationships with him and Joe Pesky, great to see him in a movie again. Like, it's been, like, since the 90s, Joe pesky has been in a movie. And, um... He's great here, I love him in this movie. And this is definitely going to have some comparisons to other mob films that came out in Mod Scor uh, that Mod Scorsese says he's made, like Goodfellas. I think Goodfellas is one of my favourite movies of all time. And I don't think the, this movie uh, fully lives up to that in terms of story and pacing. But it does live up to it in the sense that this is just extremely well directed. And a movie that's three and a half hours long, you would expect some moments to drag or some moments to be a little boring... No, this movie just, it's its so investing. But it really is because of these performances and this amazing direction. And Scorsese's been making great movies since the 70s, and he continues to make great movies today. That's amazing. I don't think there's one director that stayed that consistent for that amount of time. And that's really fascinating how he's done that. So, bravo to him. And The Irishman is another great film in his filmography. And, again, the th that three and a half hour runtime really isn't a problem. If you're worried about that then it really isn't an issue. I didn't feel the runtime at all. And uh, I actually didn't pause the film once. I watched it on Netflix. I didn't pause it, stop it once. Not even one pee break. No, I watched the whole thing in one go. And I'm so glad I did, because I was just fully immersed into this world and this characters. And it's paced in a certain way that it still has a little bit of ambiguity in there. This story is still great. There's the ending shot, which I'm still sort of figuring out, and it's very interesting. It says a lot about these characters. There's a lot of really nice little character moments in there. And I like how it doesn't focus too much on one element. Like, it doesn't focus a lot on Robert De Niro's family. But when it does focus on it, it focuses on it well. That comes in with one of my issues with the movie, which I'm going to get out of the way now. His character arc, Robert De Niro's character arc in the film, isn't fully fulfilled by the end. Some people would say that's a good thing, because it sort of leaves it a bit open, which links into the ending shot. Um... Which made me really excited, but again, it it didn't it didn't feel like a, it didn't feel like a conclusion. It didn't feel satisfying, and I feel they could have done his arc a lot better. Um, uh, maybe with some more screen time with his family. But again, this is already a three and a half hour film, and you know who's to tell 
the people making a three and a half hour movie to add more in. So, but again, I could have watched this for eight hours. It was really, really investing. And again, really well shot. There's some really, really good uh, little moments in there. The script as well is just phenomenal. The dialogue spoken is so realistic. It's so amazing. You know, I don't, uh, I don't care whether you did it or not. That makes no difference to me. Yeah, I don't. I'm here to defend you, right? Right. What do you want to know? You want to know if I did it or not? No. And how it links into real life situations and stories, I thought was really, really good. And how that affects things that happen in this movie. There's some really amazing sequences um, throughout this film that really surprised me and what that actually happened. But did it actually happen? I'm not too sure how much of a true story this is. But um, some things did surprise me. I'm like, well, that actually did happen. Wow. And Robert De Niro in this movie, he's just so badass. And he's, he's, he's such a great character. And he has to do things that he's a little uncomfortable with. And I love those moments. But he's still cool about it. He, he doesn't really get affected by these things. And I really like that. How he can go from delivering meat around to becoming a big part of the mob, I think, is a, a really interesting feat that that, ca that, that character pulled off. And the dialogue here is excellent, the performances are excellent, there's a lot of other little great small performances, not just from those main three characters, but uh, Stephen Graham in this movie, he should be in a lot more movies, he was fantastic in this film, I loved him in The Irishman, uh, he was really really good, there's also a lot of other little performances in there that I really liked, and as I said, the dialogue is so amazing, and it really gets you hooked, there's a lot of scenes that really don't really mean anything, but they're just adding little bits to these characters, and I like movies that do that, I like movies that are nice big slow burns, but this movie didn't feel like that, because I was really invested, and the majority of the dialogue sequences I found very, very investing. The Irishman is a really investing movie, a really well shot movie, a movie that doesn't affect you as much as you would hope it to, it doesn't give you that after factor that you would hope it to for that amount of time uh, you spend watching something, uh, but it was a really great experience watching this film. I really enjoyed watching it. Again, I was really invested in what was going on. It has a lot of really great performances, phenomenal direction, really great writing. I honestly did love The Irishman. I think it's one of the best movies released this year. It's one of the movies released this year that makes me happy about where film could go and that films are still as great as they used to be. And The Irishman really did deliver. I really loved it. And the th you know, I, I never found it boring, which was amazing, because a movie that long you would expect to at least feel a little bored, but I didn't. This is a really, really well-made movie, one of the best of this year. I'm going to give The Irishman an A. I'm also going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. If Guys, if you saw The Irishman on Netflix, let me know what you thought of it down below, and of course, thanks for watching, and goodbye.